Hi, welcome to Yoga by Janelle. I'm just going to give you some information on the benefits of yoga for back pain. Before I get started, I just want to say that, of course, if you're experiencing back pain, you're going to want to go to your doctor, consult with them, find out why you have the back pain. There are so many reasons why people have back pain. I uh, will list a few, and sometimes it can just be a muscle strain, a muscle pull. It can be as serious as a stenosis in your spine. It could be a herniated disc. It could be many things. Uh, back pain could also be a result of a more serious condition going on in your body that you have no idea about. So, of course, please seek medical assistance before you start any type of program, exercise program, this video, this program, whatever. Find out from your doctor what's going on. Um, most common though, back pain can be just from tight muscles. And I know that the type of work that I do, I'm consistently pushing um, wheelchairs, pulling on people, moving people around. So my back gets attacked quite a bit, even with using proper techniques. Heavy lifting, if you have a job that you do a lot of heavy lifting with, you may experience that. So how does yoga come into play? Yoga can help you to release tension in those muscles. It can help you gain flexibility. In which case, if you can have more flexibility in your body, you can also have decrease of that pain. The most common thing when people have back pain is they want to stop, they want to lay down, they don't want to move because the pain is so severe. Trust me, I know I am a person that, like I said, throughout my years, I've had issues with back pain. I'm not going to talk too much about my experience because I've already discussed it on my video why I became a yoga teacher. So if you want to hear a little bit more about my experience with back pain and yoga, then please go ahead and check that video out too. But getting back to just your basic information, um, yoga can also help to strengthen your muscles in your back, which will also help to lead to decreased issues with um, you know injuring those muscles. Now, if you have a more serious condition like herniated disc, uh, sciatic pain can also is an indicator of um, back pain, but the sciatica will run down one leg typically um, throughout the entire leg to maybe different levels. It just depends on how severe that pain is. Again, stretching can help for those issues too. And with the breathing techniques that we do in yoga, it can also help you gain regulation in your sympathetic nervous system. And to when you're having those pain situations, you can relate to your breathing and then you can help yourself calm that your body down and to help get that body under control with that pain level. Um, so there's a lot of benefits that you can use yoga with um, back pain in. So I would suggest that if, again, if you know what the source of your back pain is, you know, you've already been to your doctor and you're just looking for something as a tool to help you get through it. Maybe your doctor has already told you, get into an exercise program, get to stretching, get moving, then, you know, go ahead, give it a try. And I would love for you to join me and my um, classes. So go ahead, get a mat, get some blocks, and let's get started. Hit play.